Qatar, the Mir has received a hero's welcome in the Gaza Strip as he became the first head of state to visit the Palestinian territory since Islamist Hamas militants took control in 2007. Hamas Prime Minister Ismail Haniyeh greeted Sheikh Yama bin Khalifa al Ghani on a red carpet after the Qatar leader crossed into Gaza from Egypt's Sinai Peninsula on Tuesday. In a brief visit lasting several hours, Sheikh Yama was inaugurating a $250 million Qatar investment project to help Gaza rebuild from the damage caused by an Israeli offensive against Hamas in December 2008. Thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. To January 2009. The project includes a new housing development that will be named in his honor in the southern city of Qadiyanis. The Qatar Emirates visit marks a diplomatic victory for Hamas, which is shunned by Western powers who see the rival West Bank government of Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas as the legitimate representative of the Palestinians. Sheikh Kama had no plans to travel to the West Bank after Gaza. Members of Abbas Fatah party have expressed concern that the Qatar leader's Gaza visit will deepen the split that emerged between the thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. To Palestinian territories since Hamas 2007 ouster of Fatah forces from Gaza. Israel's foreign ministry described Sheikh Hamas' decision to travel to Gaza as strange and accused him of taking sides with Hamas. Qatar Zamir has been trying to boost the small Gulf states' diplomatic cloud by supporting Islamist movements across the region, including in Arab nations that ousted long-time dictators last year. Sheikh Hamad also hosted reconciliation talks between Abbas and Hamas chief Khaled Masr earlier this year, but those efforts failed to produce a lasting agreement. In another development thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Tuesday. An apparent explosion wounded an Israeli soldier patrolling Israel's border fence with Gaza. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu vowed a strong response to the attack. The region has seen occasional outbreaks of fighting between Gaza militants and Israeli forces since the end of the 2008-2009 conflict. 